Hey, it's Mark again. Today I'm going to do a real quick video about why your speedometer may or may not be working. Uh, nine times out of ten, this is the problem. Got a lot of people come in here and uh, one of their to-do items on their list is fix their speedometer. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to test it as well as fix it. So today I'm going to need two things. A uh, Phillips screwdriver or a drill with a screwdriver bit and a blowgun. So we're at the back of the boat now. I'll show you here. This is the speedometer pickup. So basically as you're moving the water pressure comes in a little pinhole back here and travels up this rubber tube. And that tube goes all the way up to your speedometer. And the faster you go the more the pressure increases which in turn shows your speed going faster. So first problem I see a lot is these move. So if you do hit something or you pull on your trailer too far and it folds up, it obviously ain't going to work. It needs to be below the boat. <clears throat> well, here we can see the line came off, but that's good. We're going to take it off anyways. So on other boats, if you don't have this, you can look back here on your outdrive and there'll be a little pinhole somewhere in this area so instead of that plastic pickup the pickup is actually right in the outdrive uh, same problem that hole gets plugged after it comes in this hole travels up the same rubber tube up through here and all the way up to the speedometer the first thing I'm going to do here is pull off the rubber hose take my blow gun stick it over the hole put my hand behind it to where the pickup is and just pull through it see if I can feel anything coming out. It seems pretty clear so we'll move on to step two. So I'm up front by the speedometer now I'm just gonna run these six or eight screws out pull the dash out so I can get to the back of the speedometer. So now we're at the back side of the speedometer Here's that same rubber tube that came up from the back of the boat. I'm going to pull it off the fitting here. Take my blow gun and blow through it towards the back. Uh, it's very important you start from up here and blow backwards because if you do have debris in there and you blow it from the back, it's just going to blow it further in the line and make the problem worse. <laughs> So after I blow the line out, I'm going to do a quick test to make sure the speedometer ain't junk. Just have my blow gun on the fitting on the back of the speedometer. And give it a real gentle blow. I don't want 100 pounds of pressure blowing in, but just a little bit of air. And you can see it's, it's working. So now we'll hook everything back up and put the blow gun on the back of the boat and see if the speedo moves. We're at the back of the boat again. Just going to take my blowgun in the rubber tube, give it a quick squirt, see if the speedo moves or not. So I guess we're done with this video. Everything checked out. Uh, I did see a little bit blow out of the line from when I blew it from the front. So last step, just put the hose back on. Threw a little zip tie around it just to make sure it doesn't slide off again. If that doesn't fix your problem, either the speedometer itself is bad, or this rubber tube is pinched, or maybe it's cracked somewhere. Uh, sometimes the fitting on the back of the speedometer will go bad and then you'll have water actually leaking out of your dashboard. But uh, like I said, nine times out of ten, that's the problem and that's what fixes it. Thanks for watching.